Today's educational video for you um, is a bit more on a, a serious note today. I wanted to share with you something that I've learnt about some of the ingredients that are in the products that we use pretty much on a daily basis. Um, you've possibly heard me mention these a couple of times, so the ones that I wanted to speak to you about today um, are parabens, phthalates and the sulphates, so SLS and SLES. Um, mineral oil I could talk for ages about that one so I'm going to do a separate one on mineral oil so I'm just going to briefly talk through these three today so parabens um, you've probably become more aware of these of late um, adverts are starting to, to sort of say across the screen no parabens or paraben free because people are becoming edu educated about it and they're trying to avoid having parabens in their products um, so Parabens have been linked to cancers depending on where you look on Google, what sources you're looking at. Some will say, well, there's no scientific proof yet. And then others will say, well, it's not the parabens themselves, it's the, the metabolite from parabens. So um, obviously not being a scientist myself and not looked into that, um, I just think it's something that should be steered clear and it's something that I'm actively avoiding. So I won't use anything that's got parabens in because I just don't want that extra risk. There's enough in what we're eating and in the world and everything without deliberately putting it on and in my body itself. So parabens is, is one to avoid. That's used as preservatives in a lot of the skincare products um, on the market. Um, the Arbonne Parabens are um, the man-made synthetic and using safe science. So I did check that one thinking, yeah, I'm avoiding parabens. Looked at the ingredients and I'm like, there's parabens in it. So I have done that research for you and um, the parabens in Arbon um, are safe science. Um, so they're not, um, not the ones linked to those cancers. Um, phthalates um, is something I'd never heard of before and I couldn't even spell it when I was trying to look up what it was. Um, so it's spelled, I have to look this one up actually, it's spelled P-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. So there's a silent P on the front of phthalates, but there you go. Um, and what I wasn't aware of is that these contribute towards infertility. So again, it's not really something that I wanted to be putting on or in my body. So something else to look out for is phthalates. And again, that's strange spelling. Um, keep an eye out for those. Um, and as I mentioned, the sulfates, that SLS and SLES, um, these are used to give you that kind of foaming action. So where you have your face wash and you like it to all foam up, it's because there's um, sulfates in it. Um, and again, they can be quite harmful. They are... Um, sort of known to leave a residue on your organs so if you do have organ problems it could be because you've got that build up um, but you'll probably notice it more if you have quite sensitive skin or you have any kind of hair issues if you've got um, like itchiness, dry scalp, um, hair loss, uh, anything like that it could be because of the sulfates in uh, the shampoos and things that you're using if you don't rinse them off properly and it leaves that residue it can be sort of detrimental to your body so um, for those first three um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of things to be looking out for and trying to avoid where possible and, and just see how they work for you um, and keep an eye out for that uh, mineral oil because I'm sure I will have a, a complete rant about that in the, in the products that we have so keep an eye out for parabens phthalates and the SLS, SLES sulfates. Try and avoid those where you can.